Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sumi learns Chinese. 大家好，欢迎来到我的频道 Sumi 学中文。Today we are gonna learn more phrases based on New HSK Four. Today is episode one. 今天我们将会详细的去学习更多有关 HSK 四的字词。那么今天会是第一集。Let's check it out. Today we are going to learn some phrases and characters based on new HSK four for the intermediate learners. So that means. The characters will be a little bit difficult and challenging, but don't be afraid. Let's check it out. First of all, let's have a brief idea about what Chinese characters we are going to learn today. It is our vocabulary list for episode one. We're going to learn nine phrases. First one is, 阿姨阿姨 auntie. 阿姨，阿姨 ，auntie， OK。第二，啊，啊， OK。Actually， it's kind of expressing word to express your feeling， like， oh no， ah，、oh, I forgot my wallet， ah， I lost my wallet on the bus， OK， like， oh no， OK， ah。Ah, three. I, I is short, especially when you're talking about the height. You were quite short. I am quite short. So, I, 我比较矮 That means I am short in height. Okay, I. Number four. 矮小矮小矮小 It's not only short only; it also has the feeling that you are short and also small. Okay, it's quite tiny. Okay, so it is short and small. I 小矮小 Number five, 第五爱护爱护 That means care. Here, okay. If you you know always visit a、uh, visit a park, you may see there is a sign, uh, right written in Chinese like 爱护小草啊、uh, 别践踏小草 That means um please care or love the flowers and the grass. Don't step on it. Okay, love the glass and don't.、Oh, sorry, the grass. Okay, don't step on it. Okay, 爱护小草爱护 Number six, 安置安置 settle down, settle down. Okay. Number seven, 按时按时 on time, on time. Okay. 按时 doesn't mean you are.、Uh, You have a meeting with others, and then you be punctual, and then you get there on time. It's a little bit different. 按时 we always use it with the assignment or your progress. Okay, 按时 like 我按时交作业 I submit my homework on time. Okay, 按时 Number eight, 暗暗 that means dark, dark. 天现在越来越黑了，也越来越暗了。Dark, not bright at all. Okay. 九，暗示，暗示。That means I want to give you a secret hint. Secret hint. So it is 阿姨，阿，矮，矮小，爱护，安置，按时，暗，暗示。Okay. So let's learn the usage of each character and phrase. First of all, it is 阿姨阿姨 Let's learn how to write the character. Okay, do you remember that when we are writing Chinese, we should write the characters from the left part to the right part. Okay, so it should be like 一二三四五 
六七八 ，OK， 啊啊，来，我们再来一次，一、二、三。It looks like a three, like a every three, right? And then 一个一 ，OK， like 十三。It looks like you know thirteen, you know one, two, right, three. 四、五、六、七、八。OK， one more time. Ready faster. OK， ready faster. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七。OK， 八。OK， 啊啊。OK， now it's turn to write E. As E is a lady. So there is a girl part on side. Okay, 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。Oh, okay, one more time. It's a little bit challenging, but don't be afraid of writing it. Okay, get your fingers ready. Get your finger ready or your pencil ready. Let's write the Chinese character together. Okay, 一。二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。Oh, OK, let's ready one more time. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。Oh, it is 一、阿姨。So now it's your turn to write A Y together. I will give you ten seconds. Okay, ten seconds. Okay. Let's write the characters in ten seconds together. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。八、九、哦，阿姨 ，auntie， auntie。Okay, let's learn the usage of auntie. 阿姨 ，auntie， like， 阿姨你好。Hi, auntie. Hello, auntie. Good morning, auntie. Right. 还记得我们之前有学过的 self introduction 吗 ？The greeting with your name, right? You may say， 阿姨你好，我是 Sumi. Hi, auntie. I am Sumi, right? 阿姨，你好。来一起读一次。阿姨，阿姨，你好，你好。As we have mentioned on the self introduction episode, 你好 is three of the characters, okay, with three terms, and they're both connected together. At this time, the first character with the third term will change into the second term when we are Reading aloud, okay. It should be, 你好，妮妮，你好，阿姨，你好。So it's your turn. Yes, correct. 阿姨，你好。It's pretty easy, right? It's super easy, easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy, very easy. So let's see the next one. Okay. Oh no, sir, how do you write it? Actually, it is super easy as we just learned a y i the a before, right? So it should be like a ko. Oh, sorry. So it should be a ko. And then a y i the a. Very easy. So let's write the a with Sumi together. Okay. Let's write it one more time. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So let's see the usage of ah. Oh no! I forgot to bring my wallet. Ah, 我忘记带钱包。忘记 means forget. Forget. 带 bring. Bring means 带 okay. 钱包 wallet. Wallet. 钱 is money, 
file is bag. A bag contains wallet. A、uh, contains the money, which is wallet. 钱包。来，我们一起读一次。啊，我忘记带钱包。Okay, one more time. Ah, I 忘记带钱包 Oh no, I forget to bring my wallet. Okay, so let's read it faster. Okay, okay, let's read together. Remember to open your mouth and read it aloud with zooming. Okay. Ah, I 我忘记带钱包 Ah. 我忘记带钱包。Okay, it's your turn. Excellent, it's correct. You remember, you have to read it with your passion. Okay, 我忘记带钱包。Okay, well done, well done. So let's see the next one. I that means short, short. Okay, it is short only in height. Okay, short. I 怎么写呢 ？It is like one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Remember, we、we'll、write the Chinese from the left to right, and also from the top to the bottom. Okay, I.、Right. So let's write it one more time. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。九、十、十一、十二、十三。Okay. Now let's read it together without any hints given by Sumi. Okay. Are you ready? Could you try it? Okay. Let's try it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay. So let's read it one more time. I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. I, I. It's very easy, right? So now you have already learned how to write the I in order correctly, and you have already mastered it. So don't forget to practice more. Okay. So let's learn the usage of I. I. Short, especially talking something in height. Okay, 我比他矮 B is a comparison. Like I am, 我 I am B is like a comparison. B. Who are you gonna compare with? 他 He. He. Okay. 我比他矮 I is short, right? I am shorter than he. I am shorter than he. Okay, 我比他矮 So let's read it one more time. 我比他低一声，他矮。我比他矮 I'm shorter than he. Okay, let's read it one more time. 我比他矮 Okay, so how could I say I am shorter than he in Chinese? Yes, it is. 我比他矮 Excellent. So don't be shy. Keep going. Okay, keep going. 我比他矮 I'm shorter than him, or I'm shorter than he. Next one. 矮小矮小 is not only short, but also look small or look tiny. Okay, 矮小矮小 So let's learn how to write it. I will have already learned, so this time we'll learn. We will focus on xiao. Xiao is super easy. Trust me, only has three strokes. It is like one, two, and three. Super easy, right? So let's run it one more time. One, two, three. Write it one more time, and then you can already know how to write it. Okay, for sure. One, two, three. Yeah, super easy, right? So let's write I shall together. Just remember how to write I shall the I. Okay, let's try. One, two, three, four, 
六七八九十十一十二十三十四十五十六 ，OK。This one looks messy, so it should be like this. I 小 I 小 okay, I 小 So let's learn how to use or to make sentence or the usage of I 小 okay. So let's check it. I 小 short and small. 他长得很矮小 He is short and looks tiny. 长的 actually, when we say 长的 it is always used to describe a person's appearance, like the height, like the appearance, like the dressing. Okay, 他长的长的 Okay, she, 他长得很 is very very. Okay, 他长得很矮小 He is short and looks very tiny. Okay, 他长得很矮小他长得很矮小。Let's read it faster. 他长得很矮小。他长得很矮小。Okay, he's short and looks very tiny. It's your turn. How to say he is short and looks tiny? Okay, louder, louder. Yes, 他长得很矮小。There is one tip, okay? There one more tip, hint. If you are using uh, in uh, English, we have he, she, it, right? But in Chinese, we can all pronounce he, she, it as ta, but they have different written from or written characters, but the pronunciation is the same. Ta, ta 长得很矮小。Ta, okay, ta. Number five is about 爱护。爱护，爱护 means care. Okay, but it doesn't mean um care about the person. We always use 爱护 with an object, with an object like grass, like flower, like your belongings, like the environment. Okay, 爱护，爱护 So let's write 爱。一、二、三、四、五。六七八九十 Look at the bottom part. Actually, it is the character of 有朋友的有 That means if you love a person, of course your lover should be your best friend, right? 爱爱 Okay, let's write it one more time. Write it on top. Okay, from top to the bottom. Okay, 一二三四五五六七八九十，爱爱 ，OK， 爱。Let's write who who. That means you need to protect it with your with your hands. OK， 所以我有个提手旁。OK， the hand part. It is 一二三。OK， in the computer world, it will start with like from the top, from the bottom. You know. Right to the left, looks like that, right? But actually, if we are writing something, you know, by our hands, we would definitely don't do it. We won't write it in this way. So how would we write who in the written style? It should be one, two, three, a dot. Okay, like this. It's a little bit different from the written Chinese character. From the written Chinese, ah,、uh, from the computer Chinese character. Okay, it's a little bit different. Let's read it one more time. 二三四五六七 Okay. So do you know how to write it now? Let's write 爱护 together. Okay. Let's write 爱护 together. 一二三四五五六七八九十 What about who? 一、二、三，一点。对，是五、六、七。爱护，爱护。Okay. So it's your turn to write it down. To write it down. Okay. Do you know how to write it? 
<laughs> okay, let's read it one more time. 一二三四五六七八九，一二三四五六七，爱护。爱护 ，OK. Remember, if you are not familiar with this phrase, use your pen or your pencil. Write it down. Follow Sumi and learn how to write the character. You know, with correct strokes and with the correct order. OK. Let's see the usage of 爱护。爱护 means take care of, cares about, right? 请爱护花草。请 is please. In a polite way, please, 爱护 take care. Okay, 花草 is what object you want. Do you want to take care of? It is 花 flower, 草 is grass. 所以花草 when they combine it together, that means plant, plant. Okay, 请爱护花草，请爱护花草 Let's read it one more time. 请爱护花草，请爱护花草。OK， next one， 安置，安置，安置 means settle down。OK， especially， 呃、uh, ， settle down in the apartment。OK， 安置，安呢 is the character we have learned before， 安全。Safe, right? 安全第一 Do you still remember 安全第一 Safety first. This answer we have learned it before. Okay, it's very easy. So, 安 Let's read it one more time. 一点给它一个宝盖头 Like this. A girl inside. 安 Okay, let's read it one more time. 安一点一撇然后给它一个宝盖头一个女 Okay. 安安 Sure, it's a little bit challenging, but it's also easy. Write a number four on top. Number four, and then zhi. It is strict. The character of strict in Chinese. Remember, there's three lines inside. Zhi, an zhi de zhi. Okay, let's read it one more time. Write the four, but the two lines should be straight. Okay. And then write down a zhi. Zhi means zhi chi, the rulers. Okay, the zhi chi, very zhi, the straight zhi. Let's read it one more time. One more time. Okay, 一二三四五六七八九十十一十二十三治安治 So now, do you know how to write 安治 Let's write it together. 一二三四五六，一二三四五六七八九十十一十二十三。OK， remember there is three lines inside. OK， three lines. Remember it. Let's know the usage of 安置。安置 that means settle down. So you may say, when things settle down, I will give you a call. 等我安置好后，等 that means wait until. Okay, wait in Chinese. Wait until I, when I settle down, 安置好后 that means you have already settled down. It's 后 means after, after you settle down things. 等我安置好后，再 so means and then, and then. 联络 that means contact. Give you a call, send you a message, contact you. Okay, 你 that means you, you. Okay, 来一起读一次。安置，安置，联络，联络。等我安置后，再联络你。Let's read it one more time. 等我安置好后，再联络你。等我安置好后，再联络你。
Okay, so let's read it faster or in a normal speed. Okay, 等我安置好后再联络你。等我安置好后再联络你。Okay, 联络 contact give you a call. Okay, 联络 is it challenging? It's a little bit, but don't be afraid of it. Keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. Remember, so read aloud and try to remember the usage of "anji." Have I told you that "anji" is talking about your apartment or settle down when you get traveling? You need to put down your bags in the hotel. Is also you can use "anji." Okay, "anji." So next one, it is "anshi." Anshi. So "anshi" means On time, as I told you that "anshi" doesn't mean being punctual in person. "Anshi" that means on time, like you submit your homework on time. 我啊准时，我按时交作业，按时。Okay, so remember the difference between 按时 and 准时 Okay, so let's write how to write 按时。安，我们刚刚教过了，对不对？那这个非常的简单，安置的安。那么呢，他需要个提手旁，给他一个提手旁，对不对？爱护的护也是有这个部首 ，right？ Who we share the same right part together, right? It is the it's the same 提手旁，来一个安全、安置的安 ，very easy. Okay, so let's read it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And press. You have a second meaning. It is and okay. And and 时按时的时时是什么意思呢 ？It is time. Time. Okay. 时。所以 there is a sun on the right side. 日。And then 一个寸 that is a line, straight line, a take, and then a dot. 时。Shi is very easy. Let's read it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's read it one more time because a new character, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shi, shi. Okay. So now it's time for us to write and shi this whole phrase together. So let's get your fingers ready, okay? Let's write "an" shi with Sumi. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can catch up with Sumi. Well done, because I wrote you super fast. You have done a good job. Well done. Keep going. So now we are going to learn the usage of. 按时 ，on time. Okay, on time. 请按时吃药。请 that is please. 按时 on time. 吃 that means take or eat, especially eat. 药 is pill or medicine. Medicine. Okay. 请按时吃药。来，一起读一次。请按时吃药。请按时吃药。Please take the pills on time. Okay, so let's read the sentence together faster. 请按时吃药。请按时吃药。Well done. So let's see the last two phrases. Phrase we're gonna learn today. An that is dark. I'm not talking about the color, but talking about the bright. It is not bright at all. Okay. An. So you know, it's about you know light. Bright. There is the sun on side. 太阳 And then one, two, three, four, five. Another sun at the bottom, right? And okay, let's read it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, and and. So it's your turn to write it with our Sumi hints, okay? Now, do you know how to write it? It's very easy. So let's write it faster, okay? One, two, 
一三四五六七八九十十一十二十三。嗯嗯 ，Good job. I appreciate that you try to write the character with me. Okay, well done. Keep going. So it is the usage of and. So you may say, actually, the night is not that bright. It's a little bit dark. We may say, 我的房间很暗。我的 that means my 房间 room 很暗 dark. 所以 so 我需要 I need to need to 开灯开 means turn on. 灯 means light. Okay. 我的房间很暗。所以需要开灯。Let's read it together. 我的房间很暗，所以我需要开灯。Let's read it one more time. 我的房间很暗，所以我需要。开灯 ，perfect. So let's read it in a normal speed, okay? 我的房间很暗，所以我需要开灯。Faster. 我的房间很暗，所以我需要开灯。Excellent. So let's see the last phrase we're gonna learn today, which is 暗示，暗示，暗示 as as I told you, it is not clear. It is not bright. Okay, that means I'm gonna give you a hint, which is not clear, a secret hint. Okay, 暗示 and we have learned how to write it before. So now we are gonna focus on 示 It is 一二三四五 It's very easy, right? Just like write a number two on top, and then 矮小的小 right? Small, right? 是 Shi. So let's write 暗示 together. Okay, let's write 暗示 together. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九、十、十一、十二、十三。一、二、三、四、五。暗示 a secret hint. So remember to practice at home. Okay. So let's make a deal. Remember to do it at home. Okay. 暗示 The usage of "ans" is very easy. It's like, 我暗示他别说话 I, 我暗示 that means sec secret hint, and also it's like um I give you a secret hint. 别说话 In this case, 暗示 is a verb. 我暗示他别说话 I give a secret hint that don't talk, be quiet, 别说话 don't talk. 老板正在生气。The boss, 老板 or the businessman. Okay, 老板 the boss 正在 is not in the mood. He's angry. 生气 means angry, angry. Okay, in the whole sentence, it is 我暗示他别说话。我暗示他别说话。我暗示他别说话。老板。正在生气，老板正在生气。Let's read it one more time. 我暗示他别说话，老板正在生气。Let's read it faster. 我暗示他别说话，老板正在生气。You have done a good job. Excellent. Well done. So today we have learned a lot of vocabulary list. So let's go through all of it in a summary. Okay. 阿姨。Auntie, 阿姨 auntie, ah, oh no, oh no, ah, ah, short, especially talking something in height. Okay, short, ah, number four, 矮小矮小 short and small. Okay, number five, 爱护 care, care about, take care of, 爱护 Especially talking something about the object, about the plant. Okay, six, 安置 settle down, 安置第七按时按时第八
第八，哦 ，ash is on time. OK. 第八 ，ten is dark. It's not bright at all. Number nine, 暗示，暗示 a secret hint, or you can use as a noun and also as a verb. OK. So we have a quiz today. Which phrase you may use when you describe a person who is short only in Mandarin? Short only. So don't hesitate to write down the characters down below, and I will check if you pay attention to the lesson. Okay. Today we have learned a lot of vocabulary and also the phrases about new HSK four. I really hope that you enjoy it and find my video useful and interesting. So if you do enjoy, don't hesitate to like, subscribe my channel, and also follow my Instagram. Sumi learns Chinese. So see you next time. Bye.